So, what's it all about anyway? I've been trying to get it all my life. I've been trying to figure out what it's all about. What's life about? I think it's about, well, it's like Oprah says, we're in school. Or treat life as though it were school. It might help you. I know everyone has stuff going on. This whole caregiver thing, boy, I'll tell you what, I'm just about ready to cry me up and spit me out. But I think when, and by the way, this really isn't so much, well, I don't know. Hey, if you found your way to this video and it does you some good, well, more power to you and I'm happy for you. It's really, this is a web log. It's a video log. It's sort of for me, more than anything, I can look back on this one day and say, oh, wow, I made it through that. Or, oh, wow, you were bummed out. Or, well, that was exciting. That was fun. I like doing video. I used to be a reporter. So it's kind of a break for me, actually. This is the best. It's Sunday at, what, 2 o'clock. This is the best thing that's happened all day for me. I mean, in addition to our blessings, like waking up not in pain, physical pain, mental pain, yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm pretty happy to be alive, and I do count my blessings. But, boy, these challenges are just so unreal that it's <laughs> it's when times get tough that's when you gotta just I don't know stick to it I guess but you know the financial challenge is always that is what's really grinding me up like I was able to pay the rent this time I had automatically come out and what I did wrong this time, really, was I allowed Isabel to, again, try to wear the pants of the family and do what she wants to do. The big error was allowing her to, well, I guess it's, it really it's my fault. I sent her mom $200 there in Cuba, okay? And they're poor people, and we haven't sent her money in a long time. Well, I sent her $100 a month and a half ago. So I can't, I, I try to explain to her, well, you know, if I send her that money, then uh, that's going to leave us short. How am I going to pay the phone bill and all of So short story is this, the cell phone's not working now. And that's the only way that I can communicate with Isabel. The only way she can call me from home if she has an emergency is to hit the redial button or the speed dial to call me. And so normally, you know, you call the variety, you call Verizon, of course, telling them I've been with them 11 years, and that doesn't help you at all. But the financial office is closed now, so there's not anything they can do for me over the weekend. So the phone's dead, and we do have a landline, um, so we can call 911 if we had to. But it just kind of like grinds on, you know, that, oh, gee, I, you know, my phone's not working. I was expecting a business call late Sunday, a referral came in, and I don't know what that lady's phone number is, because the guy... People may be leaving messages on my phone for all I know. So today, so the thing is too, about this whole caregiver bit, you can be the, the main daddy or the, or the overly caring person, and I'm the overly caring person to our detriment because I spend time doing all these little things to try to help Isabel when I should stick to the task at hand, which is making dollars and get some dollars in the drawer to pay for things like the cell phone bill, which is $70, I'm short $70. I paid $100 toward last month's bill, and that wasn't enough, so they shut the phone off. But, um, you know, because uh, there's several ways I can make money now. Well, finally, on, on Friday, I got the taxes in the mail. So, <laughs> the, the 2009 and 2010 tax info. So you wind up spending, spending your wheels and spending time on things that you should not. I haven't done my own taxes for like 30 years, okay? I always pay to some, have someone do them, but this year, but I have stolen 300 bucks from the last time they did it for the 208 taxes. So I couldn't very well ask them to do my taxes. So I attempted for the longest time to do my own taxes and it's just too complicated what with her having to dump her IRA retirement and stuff and it's just too much. So you waste time on stuff like that. And then like normally you take your dogs to the vet. I mean, I would take my dogs to the vet at the drop of a hat. So Peppy's got a limp. I'm sure it's a thorn in his foot. I shaved it the foot last night. I looked at it. I can see where maybe he's got a thorn festering. I'm, I'm trying to, I'll work on that in a while. But that's all stuff that eats up your time. I would have normally had him in the vet the first hint of a problem on Thursday, but I can't do that. Uh, so it's just unreal. I, you know, it's like 
when your life gets so darn heavy, it just starts going downhill faster and faster, it gains momentum. So for me, I have to try to keep my head above water. And oh, there's, there, see now there's some joy in life. At the bird, at the bird feeder out there, I see two Orioles, uh, well, a male and a female, and males the bright red guy, they're bright yellow, I mean. My mom always loved those guys when they came. And so you gotta find joy in life, and I do find joy in life. There's lots of joy all around all the time. But boy, have I lost contact with God. I used to go to church every Sunday and that always recharged my batteries. But, you know, I'm, I can go do these things. I can, if I wanted to go to church, I can go to church. And if I want to pay the cell, the cell phone bill, I, I'm going to figure out how to pay it. I've got a bunch of aluminum cans. I've never t gone to the recycler before, but i got a shitload of aluminum cans out there. I'll throw them in the car and take them. That's 70 bucks. I can make a deposit, cash deposit tomorrow, and then call Verizon and pay the $70, and then the phone will be working, and I can make my other business calls. And the other thing is doing some voiceover work. That's getting late in the day. I should have already done a few recordings by now, and I haven't sent off any auditions because I just I'm so inundated with things for Isabel, and then I'm supposed to help her dye her hair today. So another thing, dye my wife's hair. Why not let it go gray? You say, well, please come over. We live at 1921 South Warren in Oceanside. Please come over and explain to my wife why she should just let her hair go gray. Please, I, I would like to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't understand anything I'm saying, so. But there are a lot of blessings, you know what? Like, and I'm not in pain, I'm not in physical pain. I'm, in, I'm pretty much mentally tormented a lot of the time, but I'm not in physical pain, which that sucks when you're in pain, right? And uh, nobody died today that we know of, and all of our doggies are healthy, basically. So life is good, the hardest part is for me, anyway, is I feel like I'm kind of like continually being judged by Isabel, and it's not so much that I'm looking for approval, it's just that I don't really like or appreciate the disapproval. I just wish the disapproval would go away. I'm not looking for approval. I don't care about fun stuff for me to do or anything. I'm not coming from a selfish thing. I'm not really trying to complain to anybody. Um, I don't know, things will improve and things will get better. And um, maybe I just can't see it right now. Like, if I knew that on tomorrow afternoon I was going to get a call from my agent that, yeah, you got that $750 gig for the internet commercial, that'd be great. You know, I had a good audition on Thursday. And stuff like that happens, and so then that makes you happy. So, so but it's probably important to not be so terribly elated when something really good happens. and try to be more on an even keel and and then you know maybe that helps you ride through the rough parts because I mean I mean it's, it's it's difficult it really sucks it's bad it's fuck it's it's uh, fundamentally I started to say it's fundamentally hideous um, but there are a lot of people that have a lot worse problems than we do like I didn't get a call last week that my son was killed in Afghanistan what would that be like? Can't even imagine. So, all in all, life is really very good. We just sometimes forget to see it for what it is, that it is good, and there is joy. Joy to the world. Boy, I should have been a singer, don't you think? Okay, so Ricky G here. I'm just talking to myself, you know. I work really hard at not being resentful and try to be joy-filled and have confidence that all will be well, that there will be enough money for food and housing and water and gas and for the silly cell phone and that I will get meaningful work that I can do either from home or away. Oh, here she goes. I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> Here's one of her paintings. You'd think that I'd be able to make a calendar slow in the head, what can I say? Don't get someone like me for a caregiver. You need a mean daddy or a mean mommy. They'll make sure that business gets taken care of. Ciao.